Welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, I went over how you can use the Beauty Box plugin with Final Cut. Now, I had a few comments in that video, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer those today and hopefully solve a few of those problems too. Now, all in all, it was a good tutorial and it was, uh, if you haven't seen it already, I'll put the link on the screen somewhere now or I'll list it in the description below. Have a little look at that, um, but you're probably not using Final Cut. You're here for DaVinci Resolve. But there's a few questions that I can solve inside Resolve. So let's jump into this. Now, um, I had someone ask me, please do more tutorials about this plugin. Yes, I'm doing that today. And um, I haven't found a way of retouching skin on the body as well as the face yet. So um, hopefully I'll find a way and I'll make a video in the future at some point about that. And there was a question down here. Now let's have a little look. Um, does it work on uh, dark bags under the eyes? This plugin doesn't, but in Resolve, in the full studio version, you can retouch the eye bags. And I will be doing a video on that at a later date. And please leave a comment below if you're interested in me making that video. Now, this was one of the key things. This was a question that I thought was quite interesting. So $200, almost the price of Final Cut Pro. Now, yeah, it's it does mount up quite quickly if you have to buy Final Cut and pay for Beauty Box. But the beauty, excuse the pun, about using uh, Beauty Box inside DaVinci Resolve is... You can use this inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is a full working version. And uh, of course you don't have to pay for that. And then you just pay for the Beauty Box plugin. So you're saving yourself probably close to about $400. So I think that's a huge saving for a really powerful plugin that you can use with DaVinci. Now someone else said the same thing. So hopefully that's answered that question. Now there was another question which is, um... oh, here we go. So if I'm editing a wedding video, should I do this on every clip where the bride appears? There are like 1,200 clips on four cameras. Now, again, inside DaVinci Resolve, you can do this really easily with a quick cut and paste. So let's jump over to DaVinci and I will show you how we use the plugin. So inside DaVinci, I have already loaded up in my edit page. And let's just zoom out of that. Inside my edit page, I have all of these clips. They are, in fact, all unedited. Uh, let's just check that. Let's just make sure we don't have Beauty Box applied. Oh, we do, because I was playing around with that. So let's turn that off. So you can see, let me just move those clips away so you can see the full image. So as you can possibly see, if I just toggle this on and off, you can see the Beauty Box plug-in effect. Now that is pretty much the um, default. Let's go full screen, you can see it. So that is it with applied and that's off. Now this model has really good skin anyway, so um, there's not much work that needs doing. And again, let's go back to full screen. So the thing it doesn't do, and uh, I'm working on another tutorial for this, and I have done one utilizing the patch replacer tool in DaVinci Studio. The thing that Beauty Box doesn't do is remove these blemishes. You're going to have to go in currently, you're going to have to go in and do these manually with the patch replacer. It's a little bit frustrating because it does take time and especially on uh, multiple clips. There's no quick fix for that I have found as yet. If you have found a fix for that, please, please, please leave that in the comments below and we can share that with the community and hopefully everyone else can utilize that to their advantage for their videos. So we're going through this plugin for DaVinci. Let's not get too distracted by other things. Um, right, so let's jump into the color page as we are. Let's see the clips. So here's all the clips. Let's go to, um, let's use this clip here. So scroll along to, in fact, let's use, let's use this clip here. Okay, again, as I said, she's got really good skin, so, uh, you know, there's, there's not that much work that needs doing, but I'm going to show you how you use this plugin. So of course we need to create a new node. So I'm going to go option S, which is the new node. And then our uh, beauty box plugin will be right down the bottom on your effects pane in the library. So all you need to do is then drag it, drop it on that node. 
And then you need to just scroll down to the bottom of here and hit Analyze Frame. It's going to have a look at that frame. It's going to have a look at the masking and it's going to apply the default settings for Beauty Box. So let's just go full frame so we can see this. It's a little bit heavy for my liking at the moment. This is it on. This is off. Before, after, before, after. Let's come out. So if we want to tweak that, we can go to the top here and this will be, let's move the clips away so we can just see this a little larger. Zoom in. Let's move this LUT pane out the way. Zoom in a little bit here. And then obviously that's with it applied. Turned off, applied. Okay, smoothing amount. We can go all in. Analyze frame. We can back it off. All in. Gonna pull it back to about there. And then our skin detail smoothing. I mean, with current trends at the moment, it's good to see a bit of texture in the skin. I mean, try not to over blur the skin and uh, let it go too plasticky. So something like that for me works well because it's got texture and it also then hides those blemishes. Off, on. You see, it's kind of evening out the skin a little more so it's yeah I mean those let's go off so I think you really notice those blemishes with it off and then on because there's more um, detail there and there's more texture those um, those blemishes sort of sink back into that so let's come out of that so another thing is we want to just go down through here and have a look at all these other masking options we still have the um, filter applied so showing mask, that will show us where the filter is being applied. So we can then move these sliders. So the white is where it's going to be applied. We don't really want it to affect the hair. It is uh, looking at the shoulders as well and the neck. And then if we turn that mask off, it wants us to select, and it's done a pretty good job already with the default selection, but for the mask to know sort of tonal difference, uh, we pick up the eyedropper and just go for a darker patch of skin there. And let's pick up some light from about there. Go back to analyze, which is at the bottom. Okay, it's made a subtle difference. So that just adjusts the mask and shows it where to apply it. Now you can go through all of these settings yourself and work out what works for you. Uh, preserve small detail. Now, do we see that working? Let's zoom in a little bit more. I don't really see anything happening there at all. So we'll just leave that. Sharpen. I don't think we want to use that too much because the image was pretty crispy already and it's only emphasizing that um, skin texture uh, that we applied in the smoothing process at the top here. So sharpening, we've got a little bit applied. We don't need to do any color correction. Let's zoom out. And then shine removal. This is something that we can use on this image. So let's have a look. Shine removal amount, we're zeroed at the moment. Has that done anything? It's applied it to the background, a little bit in the skin. I think you can see, let's apply it. Let's come out, let's go full screen. So that's, let's go full screen. That's before, after, before, after. It's taken a little bit of that, um, shine off the skin so just to analyze frame again just to make sure it's looking at everything that's it with it applied before okay and now answering one of those other questions um, to apply it to multiple clips 
let's come back out to seeing all of our clips here. So you want to apply this effect that you've customized for this frame, uh, for this clip, and then you want to apply it to all of the other ones. It's really simple. So you just go Command C, and then uh, select all of them, Command A, so that's selected all your clips, then Command V, and now it should have cut and pasted that onto all the clips. If we just full screen that, yep, applied that. Let's have a look at this one, full screen, play that. Yep, applied there. That skin looks amazing. I've done a really good job on that one. And let's have a look on here, full screen, play. It's a little bit soft for my liking, but I think you get the general idea. I think it's a really good place, but it's, again, it's down to you to sort of just tweak those parameters and work out what's, what's good for you. Let's come out of that. So really, that is Beauty Box for DaVinci Resolve. I think I've answered most of the questions. Uh, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing on this channel. And ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. I'm going to be making more beauty related uh, video retouching videos and also Photoshop retouching videos geared around um, beauty. So until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.